I was in Australia for a year. And for the first time, I was all alone. I was in a foreign place. I was uh, uh, forced into great introspection, existential questions of, you know, who, what, where, when, and why, and how. I didn't have a crutch. I didn't have my car. I didn't have a girlfriend. I didn't have a job. I didn't have money. I didn't have my parents. I didn't have friends. And I was lost in trying to, trying to find a bit of a compass and an anchor. And some odd things were going on for me in my relationships with some people there where I was questioning my own sanity. And that moment where I was asked to call someone mom and pop, in my chaotic life and <laughs> my anarchic brain that I was living in at the time, that was the first bit of real clarity that I was like, no, that is not open for discussion. All these other odd things that have been happening to me, I've been tallying up to, oh, it must be a cultural difference. It must be a cultural difference. This was something that I went, culture my backside, man. I don't care, place, time, whatever. That's not negotiable for me. So I said, no, and it was very clear. And it gave me clarity. It gave me some identity. And it was just an obvious thing to deny. That really helped with my sanity something that was so clear to me that was black and white. I needed that at that time in my life. It's hard to find those things in life in general. Don't trip yourself and face plant because it's going too good. <laughs> Don't get nervous, no, embrace it and stay in stride because the uphill will be there in a minute and you'll have to break a sweat and it'll be hard again. It's also about not creating false trauma when it's not needed. And I see a lot of people do that and I've fallen been susceptible to it as well. The drama's gonna come. Look, we all like pleasure over pain, but I think what we forget sometimes is that there's a greater pleasure that can come with going through a pain. If you go through resistance and you choose resistance at the right times and you go through it, you have greater, more evolved pleasure on the other side of it. This, look at the world, a lot of our young people are living in. We're all connected, but nobody's with each other. Their world is massive. They have more outreach than any of us ever have. But they're more isolated than ever before. So it's inevitable human nature. Me, I'm betting you. I feel sound with myself. My spirit feels good. I've got three children and a wife. But even I'll have a different reaction if you give me a thumbs up on my comment or a thumbs down. That like, dislike, comment that you put today, that's going to outlive you. It's immortal. It's permanent. You and I are not permanent. That comment is. Think about before you click and what you put out. Are you putting out something today that you're going to look forward to looking back at? Are you putting out something today in your resume of life that is going to write your eulogy after you're gone, which is going to introduce you forever wow. when you're gone? Think about it. It can affect you. And so a lot of our youth is living in that world where their emotional feelings about themselves and their own identity is based off your reaction, strangers' reactions. Some of them which may not have even read or cared about what you were actually putting out and didn't care about the intent. And that can affect you. There's a responsibility to that world that millennials live in it. They need to edit and govern back themselves with what they allow themselves to be out there. Proverbial naked they are to like, I'm sharing it all with the world. I'm sending it out to a bunch of strangers and they're going to come back to me and let me know who I am. Would I be sitting here right now talking to you with the life I have? I'm, I'm very confident that I would have had some sort of enriched life that I felt satisfied and felt joy in living if I'd have been doing something else. But at the same time, those moments, what I can really speak to is that I manned up. I remember things that were mortal in life that I had reverence for. Fame, uh, uh, money, uh, success, people. And all of a sudden, while I still respected them, 
Instead of looking up at all of them, they came down to eye level. And the world was flat. I could see further, I could see wider, I could see more clearly. You need to have the courage to follow through. And that does not mean, you know, that is always not the, the most popular decisions. Quit, quit doing things just to get along or, 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 or if you disagree with it. They're gonna be brave, courageous choices that you can look in the mirror if it works and go, yep, I'm responsible. And if they don't work, you can go, yep, that's on me. Quit living in limbo. Be smart, don't be foolish, don't dive in. Courage to take more risks. Courage to get uncomfortable with that fame and be able to go, I've evolved my questions and eliminated a lot of things in my life that did not feed me, did not turn me, turn on my true self. I've tried to eliminate those. We got to eliminate this thing, this habit we all have in society right now, which is I raise me up if I put you down. It's false. Mm -hmm. It does not have a return. There's no ROI in that. We love to dissect problems. Well, start dissecting success. Start looking and deconstructing your life, your choices, those people you're hanging around with, those places. When things are going well, when you're like, oh, I feel like I finally caught a groove here. And we don't just get there by dissecting our failures and when we're in a rut, we need to be confident enough to go, well, things are going well and I can't take this for granted. What is it I'm doing? Oh, I prepared more. I didn't have stress. I mean, teeing yeah. yourself up for a green light. <clears throat> Starts with the simplest thing. Tee yourself up for some little pleasures. Kiddos, work. What you do today can matter tomorrow. You can be rewarded for it. If you do something really well today, you can be rewarded. You can get a green light for that later on in life. Now, look at the definition of success. We have put, especially in America, fame and money, at the top of the ladder for what you need to get to succeed, to be successful. And if you're successful, you have respect of peers because you're famous, because you've got more money. Now you have a full redefinition of selfish. I'm for what is selfish, it's also selfless. But it's teeing yourself up. It's being cool to and kind to your future self. And it's also, what's best for the most amount of people. I, there's nothing wrong with pursuing money. I love money. There's nothing wrong with, with fame. It's fickle. It's, fame is, is, is a mistress. It's not a, it's not a wife. There's nothing wrong with pursuing it. But then let me get into this question, what I want to be relevant for. Greatness is pursuing that. Staying in the race, committing to the chase, to be a better self, be better families, communities, civilizations, and people. Stay in the chase, commit to the chase, stay in the race. Keep achieving in the pursuit of the unachievable <laughs> and, and make steps. So I do want to evolve, but a lot of times I'll emotionally feel insignificant if I don't achieve something. Sometimes it's good because it, it is good to accomplish. It is good to set a goal, get what we want, go after. Other times it's like, you kind of just need to sit still or just stay in your perpetual motion and go forward. Don't miss the process for the, the clinching seek of the result. Don't let the result tell you, oh, now I'm significant. At the same time, I've had a lot, a lot better results when I was stuck to the process, when I wasn't as worried about the result, when I the best golfers shoot the best rounds, when they walk off 18 thinking they're going to the next tee box and someone's got to tell them no. Stay in the zone, in the process, and I've found that more results will come your way. I battle that sometimes of making sure to remind myself to stay in that because I can get result oriented to an extent that I don't feel a sense of significance or a real lineage to my identity if I don't achieve the thing that I want to achieve. And I find out later, maybe it wasn't what I needed to achieve anyway, but I sometimes need a measurement. I need to have more patience with myself to go, that's really not this is part of the process because there's another achievement down the line that you don't even know you're working towards. So give yourself a break. You're in process. Stay in process. Value values. Make sense of humor your default emotion. And remember that you will have thousands of crises in your life and most of them will never happen. <laughs>